Hello and welcome to the Meet Around the World Show. Today out of Ajo, Arizona, near the Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. We'll go there later this week. But check out this beautiful campsite we found here. It's awesome. It's just my favorite landscape. <laughs> it is. Yeah, absolutely. So, what are we cooking? Well, on today's show, Richie will be grilling an inside skirt steak and serving it with his take on chimichurri sauce. Absolutely. And uh, in the video, we'll take you back to Southern California to the Salton Sea. All right, let's head over and make some chimichurri sauce. <laughs> Okay, today we're gonna grill this beautiful inside skirt steak. Yummy, look how marbled it is. Yummy, yummy. And we're, we're gonna make ourselves a beautiful chimichurri sauce. All right, well, first up, I'm always gonna chop the flat leaf um, parsley. Here we go. Ow, ha, <laughs> kidding. Here we go. Dried oregano. Maybe two teaspoons. And then about at least one, if not two teaspoons of chili flakes. I like it spicy. And that's what gives the red color, right? All right, let's see. Pepper, always pepper. Now, salt. Not too much. We're gonna salt the uh, skirt steak, so yeah. Give this a toss here. And now, I take two garlic cloves. Not gonna make too much sauce, right? But uh, yeah, that's where you can, you know, if you like it a little more garlicky, go ahead and throw in three or four cloves. I don't want to make it too garlicky, so I'm going to stick with two. And by the way, there's a little trick here. So somebody once told me that this little sprig here in the middle, actually, you shouldn't eat it. So, yeah. I don't know the science behind it. I'll just do it, right? Chop it fine. The garlic, you want to really chop fine. Yep. Ow! Kidding. Okay. Now, I will always put fresh lime. I like lime. I always put it in my beer too, so yeah. I love it. I think lime and garlic goes very well together. I also add a little bit of balsamic. You can take cherry vinegar. Very, very hard to get though. Take a little bit of balsamic vinegar. It's nice and it's sweet. I'm gonna add, you can take sugar. I take a little bit of honey and uh, sip of beer. We're actually on the Mexican border here. It's like, I don't know, uh, 20 miles from here maybe. Decate, Mexico, we're coming. <laughs> okay, a little bit of honey and olive oil. Here you got to be generous, right? That's what makes the sauce. Just going to put in all I have left here. Bob's your uncle. It's always a good idea to make that a few hours ahead of time before you eat so it all can marinate. Well, all that's left to do is marinate the meat with, you guessed it, salt. Just 
sprinkle a little bit of salt. Both sides and pepper. Some people marinate that stuff for hours with lime juice and whatnot and stuff. I just don't do it. I buy a, a well marbled piece so I don't have to worry about it being tough or, any, or anything. And believe me, this is nicely marbled. This will be tender ass and juicy. And we're gonna go and aim for a medium rear temperature as always. Cut it lengthwise and then pour some chimichurri sauce. Oh, that's gonna be yummy. Mmm! While I'm grilling this beautiful piece of meat here, let's go back to Southern California. Mmm! <laughs> there you go. We've just arrived at Salton Sea, beautiful sunsets, beautiful view. Just filling in a self registration form, $10 a night. Not too bad, huh? Picnic table, view. There are also showers and you can access water. The Salton Sea is California's largest lake a shallow saline basin that lies just south of Joshua Tree National Park. Having seen the lake at a distance on much of our journey during the past few weeks, we were eager to see what it was all about. However, when we finally got there, it felt like an apocalypse had struck. It was eerily quiet with a yacht club and holiday apartments left abandoned. We knew the lake was salty, but why was this beautiful campsite empty? We turned to Google for some answers. The lake was created in 1905 when the Colorado River breached its banks. It was soon turned into a vacation hotspot and was booming with tourists up until the 1980s. Unfortunately, there are many factors involved causing the decline in tourism. The lake, which is shrinking, has a closed drainage basin, making the water saltier and saltier. In addition to this, Runoff water contaminated with pesticides from nearby farms have also killed off most fish species. And there is talk of toxic dust creating asthmatic problems in the community. Oh dear. Well, it's still good to see migratory birds, ducks and even pelicans. As with most things, we make the most of it leaving the swimming behind and playing with the abundance of shells. How's that way? Oh, it's some fairy and Tina. Tina? Oh, is that your turtle? How's that though? It's a hole in it. So you put water in and then it goes straight out, doesn't it? We caught up on work editing YouTube videos and blogging, but with such a view, I guess you can hardly complain. And Zoe was busy working too, 
She's a painter, you know. During our breaks, we enjoyed the frequent freight trains that ran by morning, noon and night, consisting of miles and miles of wagons, tankers, military equipment and even stacked sea containers, and all pulled by several diesel locomotives. These trains were off to Yuma, and so were we. In this area, there is a lot of agricultural activity year-round due to the mild winters. And to give you an idea of a local dairy farm and its sheer size, just take a look. If a Swiss farmer has 100 cows, He's big. Over here, try multiplying that by 1000. We couldn't leave this area without seeing Slab City and its infamous Salvation Mountain. Slab City is an off-the-grid squatter community living an alternative lifestyle. One of its occupants, the late Leonard Knight, founded Salvation Mountain, a 150 feet wide by 50 feet tall painted art mound. The installation was created in the hope of spreading a message of love in the middle of a hostile desert environment. Scriptures and Bible verses have been painted in every colour you can imagine, and although the original artist has passed away, Salvation Mountain is still maintained by his friends and is also recognized as a national treasure by the US Senate. In the southeastern corner of California, we came across the Imperial Sand Dunes, a 200 square mile playground for off-road and ATV enthusiasts. These dunes can reach 300 feet high and welcomes over a million visitors each year. It makes a great setting for movies too. Well-known films such as Star Wars Return of the Jedi and Jumanji 3 were filmed here. That night we fell asleep to the sound of ATVs riding up and down the dunes. Vroom vroom! Vroom vroom! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not blowing bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But things you can do. Meat! <laughs> Let's try this beautiful piece of meat. I can't wait any longer. There you go. Oh. Mm. Well, ain't that beautiful? This chimichurri sauce, always a winner. Okay, Zoe, I'm gonna give you some meat. That's spicy. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mm -hmm. mm, so <clears throat> fresh. Those fresh herbs. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Mm. Now, you want some? Yes, please. That is very delicious. Mm -hmm. There you go. I might just eat off the board here. <laughs> Not gonna have much with it. 
little bit of pizza bread. <laughs> That's it. It's all about the meat. <laughs> yeah. It's the star of the show. Oh yeah. Well, as the sun is setting and we're eating our beautiful beef, it's time to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching, yeah. and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. We're on and every Sunday. Every Sunday. Don't miss an episode. 8 a.m. Los Angeles time, <laughs> to be if you're precise. you're on the other side of the pond, you'll catch it sometime in the evening. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. Bye. Meet you around the world. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have to tell you. <laughs> nope. We have some more. Oh, <laughs> Zoe. Save a bite of the sun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the moon won't come out soon. We'll have to come back all over again. Yeah. What else is going to happen in the sky? The moon and what else? Okay, okay. Just a little.